Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And due to popular demand, you guys are getting the Zentangle paw print for kitties. I have done a dog print for uh, a Zentangle dog print before, um, but you will have to look back in my videos um, in order to find that one because it's back a little ways. But it will be similar to this, only today. We are going to use silver instead of gold. So first I'm sketching on the black portion with my black paint and my fine lining brush. Basically, uh, it's a cute little um, pad and then um, four very circular little toe beans. Um, I love cat prints. I love seeing them on cars. I love seeing them in the snow. I, uh, we were doing a lot of drywall and one of my cats got into the drywall dust and I woke up in the morning and there was the cutest little drywall paw prints all over the house and I just thought they were the cutest things in the world. But yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> um, so they're very round little toe beans. I'm going to let that dry and then today instead of using gold we're using silver because a few of you did say, yeah, I'd like to see something in silver. Um, so I will do this one in silver. It looks white in the video, but it's actually silver morning. Um, and you can use gold if you want, if you're a big fan of gold like me. Uh, I will show you the Zentangle paw print in gold. It's going to be done very, very similar to this one, only it's on a different color stone. And it's done with gold. But the actual Zentangle portion of it is very very similar to what we're doing on this one so you'll see what it looks like with gold and with silver this rock is going to go very very dark when we're done too so keep that in mind it does change the look of things a little bit uh, once you seal it so I have got my silver lining um, but I am going to outline it all in black and I'm going to actually clean up the gold so it's not so thick in some areas. Uh, I always call it clean up. I do it a few times throughout my stone. So you'll notice um, depending on it's gold or black or silver or black, uh, I'm doing constant clean up throughout the entire uh, painting. So you might see that. <laughs> so now I am just finding my shape again with the silver. I'm going to have to go back in with silver because I've erased too much of it with my black paint. So I might have to go in with a little bit of silver and fix it back up again, but this really is my process. It's a lot of back and forth between the black and silver, black and silver, letting it dry a little bit until it looks the way I want it to because we're doing this by hand. We're not tracing this on or using a stencil. Um, so it's, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of elbow grease to get it the way we want it to look. So I definitely do clean up over and over. <laughs> and I notice silver is harder to cover than gold for some reason. It's so like, it's so in your face, bright and bold that it's hard to cover up even with black paint. So I've had to do a couple of coats here and there, let it dry and see what I can still see that shouldn't be there. Um, it is always best to let it dry and then you can see what you forgot because sometimes shiny looks like silver. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, guys? So I hope everybody is holding up fantastically. I know this is a stressful time. Um, I have had to put my Etsy shop on vacation mode, which, uh, well, I had a few tears and talk to my hubby about it and it's hard when you have two kids home there's just no way to work from home properly um, and still get sleep. I was really pushing myself way too much since um, since March break started. <laughs> um, uh, it, it was bad like I, I was pushing myself to the point where I was making myself sick and it's because the kids were home and I thought, you know what, I can still keep my shop open, I can still keep going, I can still do this, I can still be a mom, and I'm not a machine. I'm not a machine. And everybody is being told to rest, go home, take a break, get through this, keep your health, 
I wasn't listening to my own advice. So I have had to put my shop on vacation mode just for now. I'm going to continue bringing you guys some tutorials as often as I possibly can. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I used one of my round sponge handles. Uh, anything round will work. I just put a circle there. And now I'm doing notches so that I can use those notches as a guide of where I'm going to put my little squared off little petals here. So I'm doing it in pencil and we're going to erase or get rid of the stuff that's not supposed to be there. So I am going all the way around and I'm ignoring the actual paw print itself because we're going to get rid of all of that afterwards. Um, anything that's outside of the lines, don't even worry about it. This is all part of the process. So if you need to slow it down, please do. I'm just doing like little random, um, I did square petals off the circle in the center. Then in the in between those two square petals, I did like a pointed petal. And now I'm going to do the outline in silver so that you can see it much better. And because the pencil is kind of confusing and it's hard to see. Um, so I'm just going to do the silver lining for you. That way you can see it a little bit better. I hope you understand. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm going to be uh, posting as many tutorials as I can. Um, my son, who's 15, he is uh, extremely musically inclined and he is self-taught as well. Um, we bought him a piano for Christmas and he is being bribed to learn a couple of songs for me and we'll be performing for you as well. It won't just be a black screen for those of you who have been wondering about the black screen. I am shy, people. <laughs> I am very shy. Ask anyone who, who grew up with me and heard me singing. I used to make everyone turn the other way so that I could sing to them. I love singing. I'm very passionate about singing, but I just... I don't have a lot of courage. <laughs> so maybe if my son is with me and he's playing his piano, I can do it for not only you guys, but for him as well. And he'll give me a little bit of courage, I think. He can be my little bodyguard. <laughs> so I mean, I'm, like I said, guys, it's, it's really tough right now, but I'm trying to stay positive, not only for myself and for my family, um, but for you guys as well. So I want you to know I'm not abandoning you. I am still going to be posting tutorials and different things. I, I might do a couple of lives here and there and uh, you can see what's going on in my home or in my family and how things are here. I'll let you paint with me live a little bit too maybe. Um, I just moved twice in three months and it's been very, very stressful. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for your patience waiting for tutorials to come out. They're not coming out as fast as they normally do. And I'm really sorry for that, but I promise you I'm going to continue. I'm going to keep going. And that means that you guys have to do the same. So uh, I want to see you paint. I want to see you um commenting. Let me know how your painting's going. Let me know how you're doing in your town, in your city, in your country. Um, just let me know. I want to hear about it. And if you want to send me pictures um, of your paintings, please send them to rachelsrockscanada at gmail.com. I will leave that link in the description. Um, everything, all my little secrets are all in the description, so don't forget to check there. Um, because uh, because I don't hide anything from you guys. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, it really helps me um, because it helps me to get noticed a little bit more. When uh, YouTube notices the likes and the comments and the, the shares and the subscribes, it really helps me get out there a little bit more and more people get to see my stuff and more people get to have fun and learn and, and laugh at my laugh and <laughs> all that fun stuff. Hear about my weird life. And yeah, so it helps. And it doesn't cost you guys anything to hit the subscribe button. You guys don't pay a darn thing. So please hit the subscribe, hit the bell. That way you are notified if I'm going to be going live, you'll get a heads up. If I'm going to be 
uh, posting a new tutorial and I've, I've put a message on my community tab, uh, you will be notified of anything that goes on on Rachel's Rocks Canada. So if you hit subscribe and then hit the notification bell, you, you can custom your notifications so that you decide what you're getting and what you're not. But I would appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be doing something for the medical workers out there. Uh, I also am looking for ideas for everyone else who, out there who is essential. Um, I, I know how important our medical staff are right now, especially uh, at this time during a pandemic. Um, however, there are so many people out there that, that I feel are not in the medical uh, group and they still need to be recognized huge, uh, my husband being one of them. So I'm looking for ideas. If you guys want to send me a message or an email or, or comment, let me know because I'd love to do something for, for all essential workers, but I am racking my brain and I'm not coming up with anything. I've got a few bits and pieces going on, but they're not connecting. <laughs> So if you can think of something, please, please let me know. Um, and I would appreciate it. So right now, I'm just kind of doing a little bit of cleanup now that I have my design. Uh, I'm thinning out some of my uh, silver because it's super thick in some areas. And I've also like gone overboard with some black here and there or went out the lines with the silver. So you can see little bits and pieces. I'm just fixing it all up. Um, getting it ready for color. That's what I call this stage. Um, because as soon as we're done with our silver, we can put that away. Uh, I find silver has a bit of a mind of its own. I don't know if it's the brand I'm using or, or what, but it's like, it's the same brand as my gold paint that I normally use. And this silver is slightly unpredictable when it comes to painting. <laughs> um, I've struggled with it, so I've had to do like an extra amount of cleanup on this rock because my paint is unpredictable. <laughs> so depending on what kind of metallic paint you're using, you might be having the same issue as me. Um, but I, that's why I love my gold, you guys. I miss my gold. I did not break up with you, gold. I'll see you soon. I'm probably gonna have to paint a bunch of gold things like tonight just so that I feel better <laughs> I don't know silver looks a little messier than than what my gold normally does it's hard to explain now I have done some big dots uh, inside those big silver dots I'm letting them dry right now but I'm gonna f uh, put a smaller black dot in there um, and then I did like a swoop from each big dot and uh, and did like a pinstripe situation going on in the swoops. I don't even know what to ex how to explain those swoops. Every time I think of these these little swoops going from one dot to the next, it reminds me of Spider Man. It's like a little I'm sw I'm slinging webs, guys, from one dot to the next. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain myself. Um, and for all of you who are new to my channel, I am always this loopy. <laughs> it's not just during quarantine, people. It's all the days. <laughs> so I have put my black dots in there and I've got my swoops with my pinstripes. And you'll, you'll see like not everything fits on this paw print perfectly. Some of it's missing. Some of this uh, Zentangle mandala is missing. Um, but you know what I mean. It's like the cat stepped on a beautiful painting of a Zentangle mandala. And now it's on their footprint. Right? So in the center circle area, I'm doing some uh, pinstripes. They look a little sloppy right now, but I'm going to wait for that uh, silver to dry a little bit and I'm going to clean it up with my black like I always do. Just make sure that there's like enough space between the pinstripes to put a little bit of glitter. That's what I should put on a t-shirt. A little bit of glitter. I don't know. I don't know. I need a glittery shirt that doesn't wash off. 
when I wash it. Because that would upset me. <laughs> it would probably upset my husband too because it would end up on his work clothes. So as you can see, I'm just making sure everything is the way I want it. Black paint everywhere again, fixing everything a little bit here and there before we get to the colored part. Now I'm going to be using uh, the same range of colors that I did on the other ones so that you can see um, they're both the same color, both the same Zentangle situation, but they're on a different stone and one's with silver and one's with gold. So this one I'm using the exact same colors and I'm going to start with uh, red. It is going to be apple red um, from Folk Art and I'm using just a little dotting tool. I did some dragonfly glaze glitter between the pinstripes in that center circle. You saw that. All of these paint colors are going to be listed in the description of the video as usual. Nothing is hidden from me. And I'm filling in using a little dotting tool. If Depending on the size of your paw print, you might need to use a toothpick. And that's okay. I do use a toothpick in some spots. Um, but mine is, is large enough that I can use my smaller dotting tool. So all of those little squarish petals are dotted in red. And now I'm moving on to pumpkin orange just in these little um, pointy diamondy looking things. Now you can do your own Zentangle shape. You don't have to do the same one as me. So if this looks confusing, you decide. You decide what you do. It's totally up to you. So because I'm in a smaller space, I'm using a toothpick and I'm using now saffron yellow. And so I've gone from red to orange to yellow. Then I'm going to go to green and it's going to be two shades of green. So everything's filling in nicely. I'm going to use lime green first and where I'm putting this, I'm only going to go halfway because the other half is going to be a darker green. Just get creative with it. You definitely don't have to use the same colors as me. Uh, you can use all shades of blue. You can use uh, all shades of purple. You can change it up to very uh, pastel-y colors for like say Easter time, uh, springtime. Totally up to you. If you're making it for someone who has a cat and you think it's a perfect gift for them, maybe ask them what their favorite colors are and you can incorporate all their favorite colors in the paw print just for them so it's custom made. So I'm filling the bottom half of these pointy petals with a a little bit, sh it's, it's called bright green so first we had light green now we're doing bright green um, and it was a little bit darker you can see but still a very bright color it's like bright green fresh grass like bright bright green um, so it looks super nice and changing that color it gives it a whole different effect almost like it's glowing um, it's super cool so think about that when you're filling in your colors so in the big dots that we have I put a uh, teal by Craftsmart so it's just one big dot on top of the dot now I'm using True Blue and I'm filling in with my dotting tool again the next area. So these are kind of like chakra colors. It goes um, from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, teal, teal, sorry, green, teal, blue, and then we're going to do purple. So that's kind of cool. And like I said, depending on the design that you put inside your paw print, um, that, you know, you could put what as many colors as you want it's yours you decide so I'm using violet pansy which is a bit of a lighter purple and then um, the rest will be eggplant the at the very outer edge there after these little purple areas so it's just gonna go from a, a lighter purple to a darker purple and it's hard to notice that purple change uh, in my video, but you'll be able to see it a little bit better once I seal it with resin. And yeah, there it's kind of dark. You can't really see the eggplant purple very well. So I'm sorry for that, guys. 
So I just want to thank anyone who has um, contributed to supporting my channel recently. Um, you guys are angels. You guys, uh, I, I don't even know. The humanity that I'm seeing in this world right now, not only towards, uh, to me, but also all over the place. Like, I'm just seeing it everywhere. My husband is the one who is is doing, like, most if not all of any kind of outings that need to be done. So if if there's medication that needs to be picked up or groceries that needs to be picked up, my husband is doing it. So he's very essential right now. And uh, he's noticing the humanity in the world as well. So it's just thank you guys for being so supportive of this channel and of me. I love you. Thank you for subscribing and caring about this artwork of mine. Here's the resin version. It is absolutely stunning. That silver is really bright. Like it stands out, people. Here I'm going to show you also the gold version. And yeah, you saw this in the other paw print, uh, the dotted paw print earlier. It's a beautiful stone. It's also in gold, but it's the same design, same colors. So it looks super different. No, you can change it up so much. I love you guys. Keep painting.